That FBI arrest in the case of those letters laced with deadly poison, ricin, sent to Washington, one of them addressed to President Obama. Tonight, a Mississippi man, Everett Dusky, is in custody after authorities had first zeroed in on someone else. So why the change and how did these two men know each other? It is a twisted tale and ABC's Raina Nyman is at the White House tonight. Karate teacher James Everett Dusky was arrested early this morning. Now the focus of the investigation into the rice and lace letters sent to the president and a Mississippi senator. Have you ever handled rice? Hold on a second. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recognize rice if I saw it. This week he opened up his home and business so investigators could search them. Everybody has something suspicious in their house, but no, there's nothing that's related to these letters. Dusky knew this man, Kevin Curtis, the Elvis impersonator the FBI had taken into custody early this week. No incriminating evidence was found and he was cleared after a harrowing experience. Overwhelming, to say the least. That's overwhelming. But Curtis's attorney believes he was framed by Dusky, saying the two had an ongoing feud. These types of cases aren't easy to crack. It took the FBI seven years to solve the 2001 anthrax letters case and 17 years to catch the Unabomber. Many of his bombs were mailed. Evidence is evidence. And when you're limited as to what you have, it eliminates your ability to move forward in a speedy fashion. A White House official says they will continue processing mail at a separate location away from the White House. As for Dusky, he appears in court on Monday, charged with processing, developing and stockpiling a biological toxin.